Hello, what's up you guys? Justin here from Up North Motorsports bringing you another YouTube video. Uh, so today we're going to be installing some Oxido LED lights for the Backcountry Renegade. So if it's something you're interested in, let's get started. Okay, if you watch the other videos, you know this is my 800 Backcountry Renegade. Just got it this fall. I absolutely love this light, but yeah, let's put the bulbs in. So I'll show you a little before video right now, and then I'll walk you through the steps of installing it, and then do a comparison with the free ride over there, so. Okay, so these are the Oxido LED H4s. They're made for the Rev chassis, the uh, XS and XM. Alrighty, so let's get started installing these. Okay, so if you have a glove box, you can just pop open the glove box and you'll see your dust cover. And I already removed the one nice and easy. If you don't have a glove box, just take off the gauge. There's two little tabs right there, you can pop it off with the screwdriver and then it tilts forward. Another thing I recommend doing is taking off the windshield. It gives you a little bit more space to pop open the glove box if you do have one. Uh, so that's nice and easy. There's a couple clips right there, one right there, and one right there. So you just pull up here. There we go. Pull up there. Kind of doing this one handed as well. And two right there. There we go, and same with the other side. Okay, and then to give yourself a little bit more space, I recommend undoing these and taking off this cover as well. So I believe those are T30, T25s kind of thing. There we go. Okay, okay so I don't know how good you can see. I'll try pointing with my finger a little bit. Uh, as you see those clips, it like, looks like a steel wire. So you have to push out and up for the top one and out and or down and out for the bottom one and then the plug you can just pull on it to get it undone so those two things are very hard to get at I don't know if there's especially two or not but you'll be fighting for a while with that thing just keep playing at it till you get it okay so then once you got that wire thing out the bulb falls out nice and easy and then reverse the steps uh, one good thing about these ones is, I've seen before, they don't actually fit within the dust cover, but these ones fit nicely. And then one trick is to just spin the dust cover as you're putting it on, kind of thing, because it's hard to clear that little bottom corner down there, so. Okay, and we'll do a comparison here. So right, here's how they look in the sled. As you can see, the Oxido decals nice and clear there. And this is how stock looks in the sled. Okay, and we'll fire them up so you can get a comparison. We got a shed in the way, but you'll be able to tell the difference anyway, so. Okay, so these are stock low beams right here. As you can see, no high beam, low beam. And the aftermarket Oxido, low beam. Okay, switch on to the highs. That is the high beam. And that is the high beam. So as you can see, there's a big difference with the Oxido lights, it kind of gives it a, look, a little, little newer of a look kind of thing as well. Yeah, there's definitely a difference with the lights. Uh, end of season right now, but I can't wait to try on the trails with these bulbs. I think they'll be great for nighttime snowmobiling and stuff like that. If you guys did like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. And if you're looking to get these balls for your Rev chassis as well, uh, use my discount code 
uh, Oxido LEDs. There's a link in the description, and my discount code is up north. Alrighty, leave some comments as well. Tell me what you think. Have a good day. Bye.